everyone so today i am gonna try the one pot wonder technique um i have already set all my ingredients so i will be using four different um natural ingredients to color it will be the turmeric powder mangista powder pink clay and kaolin clay so i will only work with these four colorants I want to see how it goes so I have already mixed the natural uh, clays and ingredients with my lye water so I have divided my biter in four to be able to do this and mix it with my water and now I will be mixing this with my oil and the fragrance uh, I'm not using fragrance oil I have made a blend with essential oils so I have chosen orange uh, sweet orange, I've chosen sandalwood and lemongrass. So this will be my blend of essential oils. I want it to be all 100% natural. We'll see how it goes. This is the first time I'm trying the te this technique and also working with sort of mainly um, natural ingredients. So let's see how it goes. I'm going to just blend my colors with my, my light water with my oils and let's start it so this one is the one that has the turmeric powder just gonna mix it a bit with my blender okay so this is the one with the turmeric powder there we go now I will be blending my Mangista powder with my oils. Here it is the color. So there it goes. I don't mind. I don't think I will be bothered by the little things there. Because I want to give it a... Um, the, the top won't be like plain because I always like to add in something. I might... Add some white pearls. Let me see how these colors look like. So now it's my pink clay. This is the result of my pink clay. I don't know if you can see. So probably I will be I will be ordering the colors in a different way. So there it is. The Mangista color, the Mangista powder gives us such a beautiful pinkish, very nice. So, still very thin. And now the kaolin clay. The kaolin clay, usually I always add kaolin clay to my soaps, every single one that I do. So, there it goes. Quite used to it now. Okay, now, um,. Let's add in the fragrance oil. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just set the mold here. And I will be working like this. I don't know if you can see. Okay, I have it here. And I will be working like this. Now I want to see how my blend of fragrance oil behaves inside it i'm a bit worried okay oh it smells so good so with the mangista powder i think it's fine now with my turmeric powder Smells delicious and with my kaolin clay just a tiny bit and then with my pink clay voila let me see how hmm. for now it's quite I am quite happy with the consistency of it so I want the dark color to be the one that I'm going to be pulling first. There we go. Okay, and now I will be pulling this one. 
also here straight on the side and I love this color came out really pretty now the Kelly Clay the pink clay sorry I feel that the pink one is now getting very very thick so we'll see I will have to work quick it was good but now it's getting sort of mixed now my Kelly clay the last one starting to feel a bit thick so I'll have to pour this as quick as I can into the mold sort of it's gonna be different I can see the colors now already I don't really know if you can see that the pink was the the um, Mangista powder one was the one to get really really thick so we will see what happens tomorrow when I cut it now at the top I really don't want it to be like just a normal plain so first I will be cleaning the this bit here around the soap. Okay. Okay, and now I'm gonna work out, see if I can work out the top. I have already these ones here. They are all handmade with soap though. And it's all, there. there's no colorant in here, so. I might just be like showering them in some bits of pink clay. So like if I could just sort of a bit of a clay here and see how they behave in there. Let me try now with a just to color to see how they look like. Probably with the Mangista powder I will get it better for me. So if I just Take this tiny bit. Mm. Oh yeah, it will be more of an earthy color, which I love. Yeah, you can see that they are all absorbing the Mangista powder. You get to sort of this beautiful color. I think it will be very nice in, on the top of the soap. I would just like to work out. Aha! Now it's doing what I want it to do. A bit more, a bit more. Oh, that's perfect. I can tell that with the clays, it's getting thicker much quicker than with the Mangista powder and the turmeric powder. I love working the tops of the soap, so I could stay like this for hours, okay? Because I find that this is very relaxing to do it. I really love playing with it, but I think I am good to go. Because what I really want is just to sort of spread them on this side. That's it, it's done. And now we just need to wait for the cut. Uh, it's quite plain, but I have to tell you that the smell is amazing. It's just amazing and it's all natural. Uh, let's wait for tomorrow and see how this will come out. And here we are again to show how the cut goes. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Voila. Okay. 
it is a very 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 plain soap sort of 100% natural so I believe that's the main reason there you go looks very plain in my opinion but I think that it can it came out quite pretty um, honestly if you ask me this is not my my preferred soap uh, definitely I needed to give it a try with natural ingredients but I do enjoy working with color with different materials and work a bit more the top but this is a really good soap for people that enjoy natural soaps um, and that's it this is me done I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on my next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel follow me on Instagram and join on my Facebook group bye